Right, I wanted to share this information with you guys um, in a very condensed way. What I wanna do is harness the spare PV electricity coming off my solar panels when the batteries are charged and when the sun's really shining. And this is how I've gone about it. So what we've got here is a Sonoff Mini. And this is basically a little Wi-Fi switch. And that's got mains power. I'm in the UK, so this is a, a mains power for the UK, that plug. This is just an old computer kettle lead with the ends cut off and it's giving mains power to this box. I've also got a 12 volt automotive relay, all right? And that's, um, that's all connected very crudely at the moment with these Wagos. I don't know if you've seen Wagos before, but these are just connection blocks. You could use whatever method you want to connect. You could use chocolate blocks, screw terminals, whatever. And then the final part of the puzzle is a Cat5 cable. Now, if you've been around computers as long as I have, you'll probably have one of these in your drawer. If not, buy the cheapest Cat5 cable you can find off Amazon and cut the end off. So these boxes, you can buy these on Amazon. They cost about a tenner. But what makes these special is this, uh, this grey contact here. This has logic running through it. And that logic is able to, to detect a change in state. So it can detect whether things are on or off. The other thing about these is they are Wi-Fi compatible with other devices in their family. So you can have other devices and you can have this trigger on off states in other devices. So for me, I wanted to harness the spare electricity from the solar basically to charge a hot water tank and I couldn't find out how to do it um, so with a bit of trial and error I've worked it out and there are plenty of people that can get it to switch on and off um, but to get it to switch on and off in the smart way within the within the inverters parameters you need to pay attention to the wiring and I'll show you a wiring diagram next Right, so this is how the wiring is going to work. So you've got your Cat5 cable. And we need to look at pin 3 first. And pin 3 is white with green stripes. And that is a 13 volt positive feed, which you're going to take to the coil of your relay. And then that return path goes into the dry contact in the inverter. And then the dry contact then goes to the ground in the inverter. Now this is where it needs, this is where you need to pay attention because it is the signal on the ground, that feedback loop through the internal dry contact which allows you to use the smart save. Function. So what you got here between seven and eight, that is basically a switch. And that switch is switching on and off the coil of the relay, which in turn is activating a switch. Now the, the relay contacts go into your Sonoff box. Okay, and they go into the, the switch contacts of your Sonoff Mini. And then your Sonoff Mini gets powered by mains. So what's going on here, right? You've got 13 volts, which is being switched on and off by the inverter on the coil of the relay, which in turn switches the relay on and off, which in turn triggers the Sonoff Mini to detect a change in state in the switch circuit, which in turn will Wi-Fi to whatever device you want to control through this system. It's as simple as that.
So now what you need to do is you need to configure the inverter to trigger that dry contact. So you can do that through your mobile phone app, but I'm doing it on the computer just because I'm using my phone to film this. So drop into the inverter settings and put in your password. The default one is 0000, zero, zero, zero four zeros, and find the dry contact tab. Switch your, load, switch your dry contact to load management. Switch your load management to smart save and then put in your thresholds. Now I've just been testing this. So I've got a threshold for, it's gonna come on at 500 watts of PV um, and, the, and at 50% battery power and then your other parameters. But you need to set it up in the inverter as well. And once you've done that, these parameters then will control that little Sonoff Wi-Fi device, which in turn will control whatever devices you want, which means you could have stuff out in your garage, you could have stuff up in the loft, you could have stuff all over the place without ha it having to be hardwired to this. And the Sonoff stuff, you need to set up as a, as a scene. There are millions of videos on YouTube on how to do that. I'm not gonna cover that here. All right, so I hope this helps somebody because it had my head scratching for a long time. Good luck. So once you've got your cable made up, your Cat5 and all wired up, you plug him underneath. Into the COM port, your inverter. And now the parameters that you set in the setup of the inverter will control the on off switch via Wi-Fi for any device that you want to put in that Wi-Fi scene within the Sonoff software.